In this lesson, we're going to use algebra to prove the geometric properties of 2D shapes. In question 1, we've got angles in parallel lines, and y is vertically opposite to y. So, property number 1, vertically opposite angles are equal, which is why the two y's are equal. And moving on, we know this angle will also be angle y, because we can identify the angles in a z in parallel lines with this yellow path. And angles in a z in parallel lines are alternate. So the second property, alternate angles in parallel lines are equal. And finally, we can see, again, we've got a pair of vertically opposite angles. And like we stated in property 1, they must be equal. So we proved y and y are the same angle. For question b, we've got an isosceles triangle. So each angle will be equal to each other. And it would be the difference between 180 and x divided by 2 like I said, they're both equal. So now we've got angles on a straight line of 180 minus x over 2 plus 90 plus x over 2, which is the grey angle, and they add up to 180. So angles on a straight line add up to 180. And that's a Greek letter, sigma, for total. And we can simplify 180 minus x over 2 by dividing both by 2. So 90 minus x over 2 plus the grey angle 90 plus x over 2 equals 180. The x over 2s will cancel and the 90s will add together to make 180. So 180 does add up to make 180. And for question C, we're going to prove the angle at the centre is double the angle at the circumference. And I'm going to split the arrow in two. And I'll denote this triangle as A and A, with the angle at the centre B. The two A's must be equal because the radii are equal. And similarly, for the red triangle, we'll use C and D. Again, C must be the same because the two radii are equal. And the angle at the centre we'll call E. So now we can begin to write some equations. We know two lots of A add B equals 180 because they are three angles in an isosceles triangle. And similarly for the red triangle, 2C add D is 180 for the same reason and finally we've got the angles at the center b add d add e must make 360 angles at a point add up to 360 and now we can use the blue equation to write any to make b the subject so b will equal 180 minus 2a so we can write this in the green equation. And for D, we can make D the subject of the red equation. So D will equal 180 minus 2C. And we add that to B. We'll keep E as itself. And they add to make 360. Now we can collect the 180s together to make 360. Minus 2a minus 2c plus e will equal 360. Take away 360 from both sides. So
negative 2a minus 2c plus e will equal 0. Uh, we can make e the subject, so e will equal 2a plus 2c. And we can factorise that, e will equal 2 lots of a plus c. And here we've denoted e as 2w, so 2w equals a add c, which are the angles at the circumference. So 2 lots of w. I hope you found that useful, and check out the link in the description for the full lesson.